All right, so what we're working on now, this is a Brother MFC multifunction copier, print, copy, scan, and fax, uh, MFC 7340. Now, the, this machine, when uh, this machine actually has a, a digital display, which will tell you uh, visually that you need to replace the toner or the drum. It'll give you a message right in the display center right here. So that's where you're going to know. Plus, of course, if the print quality of the page is bad, if it prints light, if there's lines on the pages, those are all indications of a toner or a drum that you need to replace. So, as with uh, most Brother printers, uh, you always access from the front, and you'll open the door of the printer and pull that down all the way. And most of the cartridges, you know, Brother toner cartridges and drums are, are a single unit in the machine, so you'll pull everything out together. This one's a bit tricky, and it's, it's kind of tough, but normally if you pick up just a little bit, that helps when you're pulling it out. And you got to pull it out straight. If, it, if you go to one side or another, it won't pull out. So pulling that straight out, and now you got the drum and the toner cartridge out of the machine. Uh, once you've got that out, uh, there's something, there's probably things that you should look for inside the machine. Well, inside the machine, basically, you want to look inside, see if you have any excess toner, paper dust. Sometimes the toners leak. Just take a damp rag, reach in, remove the excess very carefully, and then you're ready to go. Then you're ready to start on the, the toner and the drum. Now, with a bro all brother toners and, uh, and a toner and drum, there'll be a tab, sometimes green, sometimes blue, sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left. To release the toner cartridge from the drum, press that down, it'll lift right up and come out very clean and very easy. So you've got your old cartridge out, so you set that to the side, and now that you've got the drum out, there's things you want to look at in the drum to see if that needs to be replaced. And one of the things I do is I take the unit, tilt it a little bit so I can look inside, I look at the photoconductor. If the photoconductor is clear, no lines, no excess toner, then you know that your drum unit is good. But also, the manufacturer suggests that you have a transfer corona unit. That goes along the whole unit of the drum. They always have a transfer unit cleaner. It's usually green or blue, but it has a tab on top of the cartridge. You take this tab and move it back and forth, back and forth, two to three times. That will clean the Corona unit. That way you won't have any excess toner, your drum will be clean, and you're ready to go again and install the new toner. One thing that you have to always remember, make sure that you put the transfer Corona cleaning unit back to the place where it belongs. On every unit, you hear a click. There's an arrow on the unit, there's an arrow on the cartridge. So you can always know it's in the right location and you're ready to go. Now, when you're looking at the, the, the drum unit itself, that photoconductor unit that Jeff's talking about is the cylinder inside. That cylinder should be very bright and very clean and clear. If that's uh, faded, foggy, has lines on it, um, then it's very close to or should be replaced because that that is what actually makes the print a good quality or a bad quality. Now that you've uh, taken the drum and you've inspected the drum, you've inspected the inside of the machine, you're going to take out the toner cartridge. And in this case, um, this is a, uh, for this model, is a, a TN360 cartridge. Um, the TN360 fits many different models, and they'll be listed on the front of the box or the side. Not every single model is on the front. But what's important is the part number itself, the TN360, which in this case is a high yield cartridge. On the inside of your machine, on the door, it will have the actual cartridge number that you should be using. And, in, and it says, in this case, a TN360. So taking the cartridge out of the bag, first thing you're going to do is, is leave this plastic sheet on here that's covering the photoconductor unit. Now, you want to shake this back and forth mix it up a little bit so if the toner is settled in any different manner you're going to get this all spread out and set it down just lightly pound on it to get it even more settled now that you've done that take off the cover you can use this cover to uh, put on the uh, the one that you've taken out 
and the toner drops right inside the cartridge. In, uh, the toner drops right inside to the drum. Fit in, put it down, it'll click, and you're set. You'll know what's in there when you can pick it up just by the drum itself, and it's all one unit. So now that you've got the toner cartridge replaced in the drum, pick it up. You're gonna, you, you know, might have to move this around a little bit, but you're gonna find the right slots that this fits into, and it should easily slide in. And when it gets to the back, you want to firmly press it in until it can't move anymore. It usually clicks. And then close the door on both sides. If the door doesn't close, don't force it. Go back in and reset the, the toner and the drum so it's seated properly. Once you've put that in, it's going to go through a reset process. Right. And then basically what you do after that, let's say you want to make a test page. You want to see it. You're going to press the menu button and you're going to go to the right arrow until you see that it says that print test page. Then you're going to hit start and it will print right out. And that's going to be in your owner's manual. So you can follow that process if you want to print a, a test page. Or just simply uh, go to your computer and print a page. Exactly. Now, there are times when you can put a uh, a toner cartridge in, it's not very often it happens, but a generic or a compatible cartridge or a drum, and your printer won't recognize it. Um, the way to resolve that is very simple. Just turn the machine off, take the power cord, unplug it, and leave your machine unplugged for about 20 minutes. Plug it back in, turn it on, the machine will recycle through, recognize the cartridge, and, and you're set to print. One thing that you need to also know about this, since this is a multifunction unit, it scans, copies, and prints. There are many times when you don't mean to do it as a customer, sometimes your glass is dirty. Sometimes this scanner glass here is dirty. If you have a line or you have a void image, first thing you need to do is check your glass. We've had situations where people have whiteout, people have pin marks, they don't realize it, but this is a digital copier printer unit. So take some Windex, clean off the glass, clean off the scanner unit, and then you should be back to normal, good copy quality.